Number 10. 1992 Close AM Cent. In 1992, the United States Mint recut the Lincoln Cent Reverse Master Hub in an effort to sharpen the details and create a better strike. And while the design remained nearly identical, the lettering in the legend United States of America was shifted slightly. In the older design, the letters AM are separated, on the new version, these letters are almost touching. Intended for release in 1993, several new reverse dies were nonetheless used in 1992 by both the Denver and Philadelphia mints, there are roughly a dozen examples of the 1992 D Close AM known. The variety was discovered in December 2001 by collector Colin Cush. According to PCGS most valuable red example was sold in 2017 for $25,850. Number 9. 1960 Small Date Cent. In 1960, the U.S. Mint updated the master dies for the Lincoln Cent mid-year. As was the case with the 1992 Close AM, dies of both the old style and the new style were put into use. Unlike the 1992 Close AM, however, far more of the older small date coins were struck and released, making the variety much more collectible. As soon as collectors became aware of the situation, interest in the variety exploded and astute dealers were more than eager to sell the coins. Incidentally, the 1960 small date Lincoln cent is often called the coin that launched Coin World. One of most valuable specimens was sold for $4,600 in 2008. Number 8. 1922 No D Cent. In 1922, Philadelphia did not produce Lincoln cents, only Denver did. Why, then, do 1922 cents without mint marks exist? The answer is complicated. As originally shipped, all dies used to strike 1922 cents at the Denver Mint did have a mint mark punch applied to the dies, including the 1922 Plain D. Technically this is not a true variety but a die state. As is often the case, dies become damaged during use. If a die is repairable, then a mint worker might efface the die to remove the damage, such as clash marks. In this instance, the D mint mark was accidentally polished off of the die. One of most valuable specimens with strong reverse was sold for $48,000 in 2018. Number 7. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent. As one of the smallest mintages second only to the 1909 S. V. D. B. and the 1931 S. The 1914 D. Lincoln Cent is one of the key dates for the entire series. In fact, when Denver struck only 1,193,000 coins, Philadelphia struck over 75 million cents and San Francisco produced over 4 million. Even for Denver, this is a very low mintage. In 1913, the Denver Mint struck nearly 16 million coins and in 1915 it made over 22 million. PCGS CoinFax estimates that only about 10% of the original mintage survives. By 1957, high-grade examples were selling for as much as 210 US dollars, $2,218 adjusted for inflation. Most of these are from a hoard of 700 pieces that came to market in that decade. Auction record for this variety was set in 2018 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. This specimen was sold for $158,625. Number 6. 1944 Steel Cent. A companion off-metal error to the 1943 bronze cent, the 1944 steel cent was produced when the mint switched to copper planchets made from recycled shell casings in 1944. There are two possible ways that 1944 steel cents were struck at the Philadelphia mint, either old 1943 steel planchets or steel blanks intended for foreign coinage slipped into the production line. The latter was not possible at Denver or San Francisco as neither facility struck zinc-coated steel coins for foreign governments that year. Consequently, while there are 25 to 30 known Philadelphia coins and 7 known from Denver, there are only 2 known from San Francisco. The most valuable sale so far was realized at Heritage Auctions. This MS-64 gem was sold for $180,000 at Heritage Auctions. Number 5. 1909 SVDB Cent. For the longest time, this coin was considered to be considered the king of Lincoln cents. The 1909 SVDB is the San Francisco striking of Victor David Brenner's original approved design. 1909 marked the centennial of President Abraham Lincoln's birth, and in order to honor him, the Mint debuted a stunning new coin design featuring Lincoln on the obverse and two wheat stalks on the reverse. Brenner adapted his obverse effigy from an earlier medal. The wheat reverse was a simpler, dare we say, more modern, interpretation of the traditional wreath design. The American public, with the help of the media, saw the initials as self-aggrandizing, 
and the Treasury Department quickly sought their removal. As a result of the public uproar, the Mint pulled Brenner's initials within days, and as a result, only 484,000 of the 2,309,000 cents stuck at the San Francisco Mint in that year have the VDB. This makes the 1909 SVDB the rarest circulating issue Lincoln sent. The most valuable red specimen was sold at Stax Bowers auction. This MS-67 superb gem ended up selling for $168,000. Number 4. 1955 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Created by an incorrectly manufactured die, the 1955 Double Die variety is quite dramatic and was instantly sought after upon its discovery. The dramatic doubling was caused when the position of the die rotated slightly between impressions from the hub. This doubling is most notable on the legends in God We Trust and Liberty, as well as the date, 1955. The day these coins were struck, three cent presses were operating at the Philadelphia Mint all dumped their completed coins into one box. Apparently, the inspector failed to notice the defective die until over 40,000 pieces were struck, by which time 24,000 specimens of the variety were intermingled with non-defective coins. 16,000 pieces were isolated and then melted, but the rest were released into standard circulation. Many were famously paid out as change in cigarette vending machines. According to PCGS, most valuable specimen was sold in 2018. This MS-65 plus red gem fetched a sum of $114,000. Number 3. 1969 S cent with double die obverse. As with the 1955 double die cent, this coin was created by a blundered die. The 1969 S double die is much rarer than the 1955, with fewer than 40 examples certified. This small surviving population is due to the fact that the offending die was discovered quite quickly. But collectors beware. Virtually no sooner than it had been discovered, the 1969 S fell victim to a counterfeiting scheme. In 1969, Roy Gray and Morton Goodman worked together to create a number of fakes, including the 1969 double die Lincoln Cent. Reportedly, some authentic examples also got caught up in the Secret Service's hunt for the Gray slash Goodman counterfeits and were destroyed. The main way to tell authentic 1969s double die obverse cents from the fakes is that the real coins will not have doubled mint marks. This was because the mint mark was punched into the die by hand after the doubling occurred. One of the most expensive specimens was sold at Great Collections auction this year. This MS66 red gem fetched a sum of $601,875 with buyer's fee. Number 2. 1958 cent with double die obverse. The 1958 double die Lincoln cent is a controversial coin. It is also one of the most valuable. The king of the Lincoln cent double dies, only a three examples are known. The doubling is dramatic, with the legend Liberty and the motto in God we trust being the most pronounced. The coins were discovered in 1960, reportedly by Philadelphia collector Charles Ludovico. The rarity of the issue caused many to wonder whether these were intentional mint products or even forgeries. When the mint was given the opportunity to study Ludovico's specimen, they determined that the coin was authentic. In the 1990s, a mint state example of this elusive coin traded for just over $25,000, a bargain, given that the variety has since sold for six and seven figure sums. This specimen fetched a sum of $1,136,250 with buyer's fee on January 22, 2023 at Great Collections Auction. Number 1. 1943 Bronze Cent. At number 1 is the most coveted of all Lincoln Cent error coins, the 1943 Bronze Cent. Struck during World War II, this error coin was created at a time when the United States was producing cents from zinc-coated steel planchets as it diverted its copper stockpile for the war effort. While most current literature points to general war scarcity, some numismatists believe that this switch in metals was intended to instill a sense of ownership and sacrifice to the war effort on the part of ordinary citizens. Regardless of the reason for the switch, the U.S. Mint adopted the new planchet type for one year only. Unlike at the Philadelphia and San Francisco mints, where it is thought that some old 1942 planchets accidentally remained in the coin press feeding bins, no such error occurred at the Denver Mint. The only known 1943 D bronze cent is thought to have been struck by a mint worker for his personal collection. With extremely fine detail, it is believed that this coin was struck twice. A conflicting story states that this coin was actually struck by United States Mint Chief Engraver John Arsenic. This particular coin was not discovered until much later when it was examined by Annex in 1979. Recently, the coin sold in 2021 by Heritage Auctions for $840,000.
Thanks for watching this episode. This video was made based on Coin Week article. Your comments and likes are highly appreciated. God's will, see you in the next episode.